African runners once again dominated proceedings with Stanley Biwat taking the tape in the men's race. The Kenyan completed the 15 kilometer course in 44 minutes and 31 seconds. In the women's event, the honours went to Ethiopia's Ime Ayalu, who claimed the title for the second year running. She stormed through the course in Brazil's largest city and crossed the line on Paulista Avenue in 54 minutes and one second. Sun came up on day three of this season's Africa Eco race on Thursday. Defending bikes champion Pal Anders Olivalsetta continued his perfect start to the rally raid. The Norwegian backed up his stage two victory by winning the 451 kilometer time special for stage three, which took the competitors from Tagunit to Assa in Morocco's Assa Zag province. Russian Anastasia Nifontova rode her Husqvarna to second, while Britain's Andrew Newland enjoyed his second straight third place finish on his KTM. Yuri Sazonov enjoyed his second stage win from the opening three legs of the eighth edition of the race to extend his lead at the top of the overall standings. The Kazakh Hummer driver completed the leg just over three minutes clear of second place Pascal Thomas of France, driving his Optimus ND. Sazonov's compatriot Kanat Shagirov steered his Toyota to the third step of the car podium. For women to have the right to vote in the UK, a group of women suffered the brutality of the authorities and the contempt of a part of society. Sarah Gavron, the British director, tells the story of these unsung heroines. You work at the laundry? Part time from when I was seven. For the action in suffragettes takes place in the early 20th century. A working group organizes peaceful campaigns to demand the right to vote for women. Despite